Hey guys, welcome to Hillboro again. Isaac here, on my way down to Logan, Utah, to Logan Coach Trailers. I'm all alone today, uh, no one with me. Caden is back at the shop. Yes, we've started our busy season again, and he's uh, he's at the shop welding and producing, poor soul. But that's just how it is for us. A couple months ago, sold my white Logan Coach horsepower. If you remember that trailer, it was the white one that uh, had the American tattered flag coming out of the front of it. Got a lot of compliments on that trailer. People loved how simple and clean the white looked and then how simple and clean just one decal coming out of the front that American flag looked on that trailer. It was super cool. Told Diamond H Trailers to put an order in for a new one and I just got informed yesterday that they were finished building it. So we're gonna go to the factory. While we're there, we might as well uh, meet the crew and tour the assembly line. So on this new trailer, did a couple of different things. Super excited to see it, but let's go check it out. Here we are, Logan Coach Trailer Manufacturing. Looks like they got some trailers out on the line or out front. I wonder which one's mine. Let's go find Steve. Good. Hey Steve, how you doing? I'm great. How are you doing? Good. How was the drive? That's a good drive. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you don't go through Logan, <laughs> it's a decent drive. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> so this is Steve Hales from Logan Coach. He's a production manager. Some days. Some days. <laughs> how long you been with Logan Coach? Thirty plus years. So. so. If you know any, if you want to know anything about Logan Coach, Steve's going to know about it. Thirty years at Logan—that's that's. I don't know. Yeah. Was that a record? Mm, there's guys been here longer than that. <laughs> a couple of them. Nice. But yeah, if I don't know it, I'll make it up. That's pretty easy. So I understand there's a trailer that's finished. Yeah, your new toy's ready. Nice. <laughs> wanna and go check I'm, it out? I'm excited. Heck yes, I want to go <laughs> check it out. So while we're here, we're actually going to go walk through the factory and see how these trailers are built. Steve's going to give us a little tour and uh, we're going to see all the different lines of trailers they make as well as all the customizations that they can do to make the trailer you need to, into the trailer you want and need. <laughs> Just be sure to wear your safety glasses. <laughs> so we got Colton here from Logan Coach. He's kind of overseeing this project build, this uh, custom build for this uh, living quarters trailer. He's going to show us around a little bit of what they're working on. 
All right, so back here in the back, we got ourselves a set of bunks. We got a nice storage area back here where we're gonna have a shelves and a curtain to hang all your fun stuff. We got USBs and your outlets all down here so you can charge your phones up. We got nice lighting underneath there, top and bottom. Look at that, every single bunk has a USB and power outlet. And it's all light switch on each one. Wow. And then this is gonna get cut out and they're gonna put a hamper down in here and then nice storage compartment above here as well. Two AC units with heat and heaters in them as well. And then behind you we got, gonna have a nice big fridge up in here. Full on stove top right here in the center with space this way, space that way with your sink over there. The radio, we're gonna have a nice touchscreen Kenwood radio in here with your amp and a 10 inch sub, all Kenwood. And you're gonna have a TV that goes in right here, swings in and out wherever you kinda wanna look at it. And this is our bathroom. You got your nice little toilet there and then our all our power boxes, our inverters, so you can have power all the time running off your batteries. Then you got your tank down underneath here for your, for your water. And there's actually an extra, extra fresh water tank in the back underneath everything as well in the back of there. This is where our where your bed area is going to be. There's also another another TV that goes on the outside of here and another storage compartment with your overhead storage compartments as well. USB and 12 volt all over in there as well. Right here we got your fuel station. So you know you come with your toys, you come up, park alongside, get yourself filled up with fuel. Two tanks. Never going to run out of Put diesel in one, gas in the other, whatever you want. Oh, look at that. Your bunks even have their own yeah, window. Got our own window. Both got, sides. Got a generator up top, and there's where your generator climb up the back. Got a nice little spot up there. And it also, it's going to get a wood burning stove. Oh, really? Yeah, it gets, the wood burning stove goes up right here. It's going to set. You know this thing's built well. Oh, yeah. Not it's just on the inside, but on the outside as well. Definitely, definitely. Durable, built to last. 10, 20 years down the road, they're still kicking. Yeah. The strong as heck. And I can vouch for that, for how I've used my trailers and used them. But come on, a wood burning stove? That is sweet. Like I say, however you want it. Triple axle, horse trailers with living quarters, toy trailers with living quarters. You name it, they got it. It's just amazing. This facility is huge. Uh, you know, I've gone out to tour Articat and some of the other manufacturers, and uh, this facility is just about as big. It's it's a massive production here. So. And they just have trailer after trailer after trailer. It's impressive. It's way cool. Another trailer that Logan Coach has been working on is this little guy right here behind me. It's called the Base Camp. What's fun about the Base Camp is it can haul all your toys, anything you need to do, but then it also, uh, well, it acts just as its name. It acts as a Base Camp. Inside, it's set up with the heater, the utilities for cooking, and basically utilities for any kind of living. So you got your couch, you got a sink. This is one of the coolest things right here, is a, a portable refrigerator cooler. So um, you, can, you can take it out, right? You can yeah. take it out, put it on your side-by-side -side or your Jeep or whatever you want, and you have a... Powered. You have a refrigerator wherever you go as well as your stove and your sink and your cabinets I think this thing would be just one of the, the funnest little just quickly get away and have everything you need type of trailer and then uh, a lot of storage op options on the side where you can put uh, all your stuff uh, either in the storage uh, cabinets that they have on the fenders or you can hang things off the side of your trailer if you want to hang any type of tools or whatever. And then up top also is a, a platform where you can put a tent. 
little pop-up tent or any type of fold-out tent you want. You got all the propane, more storage, ladder to get to the top of the trailer. All right, Steve, go get Monique, your wife. I'll go get my wife. I'll get a trailer. You go get a trailer. Let's go camping and hunting. Let's do it. <laughs> Perfect for a little hunting base camp right there. Well, Steve, thanks for showing us around the factory and you all bet. the stuff you do. No problem. I will have to say there's one trailer we haven't seen yet. I know. You ready? Yeah, I'm Let's ready. Let's do it. I'm excited. There it is, you guys. The new trailer. Wait. Ah, that's it. That's right. I love the white. But we wanted to change it up and we went with the flat black. I have to say that looks pretty cool actually. Wow, look at that. Holy smokes, that thing's huge. Wow, that is cool. All right, you guys, quick walk around on the trailer. Again, we went with the two 8,000 pound axles, which, uh, it allows it to be a car hauler, you know, a little more heavy duty. Um, we went with the second man door on the right side, the passenger side, so that at the shows and in the shop we can access the trailer um, on this side. So we got the roll down door, stores all the batteries and, uh, and the propane tanks. This is by special request. These outlets in here. That's just for when we go to the shows, we can uh, plug, we keep all the outlets hidden underneath the rolling door, but we can pull them out this bottom here with uh, extension cords and still charge the trailer and everything. So, of course, keyless entry on all the doors. We got the updated floors where the drains are up front and out back. And we decided to go with the cabinet this time. Usually we opt out of the cabinet because we sometimes store things, lots of heavy things up front. But where this trailer is longer, we decided uh, we want the cabinet. It looks good. It'd be easier to store stuff. Heated cabinets for your boots, gloves, clothing, everything. And of course the boot box here. We went with this aluminum tie down rail on front and back, or excuse me, left and right. And then also the car tie downs. These, for me, these are a must. We tie our cars and side by sides down with those. And then uh, three hooks, hang hammocks, whatever you want in there. And of course the, the good heavy duty uh, cabinets. Look you guys. Try doing that in any other snowmobile trailer. If I were strong, I would be able to pull myself up, but with one hand I can't. This is super nice. You can hide away your electronics, so when you're at the shows, no one can see them, but yet you can still keep them charged. Stereo sub with fur right there. The inverter, the charger, of course, Kenwood speakers all around. Uh, fuel doors with 250 tank, 250 gallon tank. So you could either do a total of 100 or you can uh, split them off and do one 91 octane and one E85 or diesel, whatever, with lights on all the doors. Look at that. And then also the lights on your wheels. Another thing that I do on all my trailers is a solid uh, caliber glide rails. So these are caliber products, stuff that we will be offering on our website. But uh, on my trailers, I like to do the full doors. Sometimes I like to stagger them with the grip glides and then the track, the track ones. I like to do the solid thing. It just helps so when you load your snowmobiles into the trailers, you don't have any chance of gouging the ski into the door. The whole thing's just covered. I'll try to order. Another thing, you guys, this is the heavy duty door. So you can put, on our last trailer, we went with the heavy duty door and heavy duty axles. We had a Nissan Murano in here, zero issues. Hold it like a champ. The door will handle it just fine. So 
We're back in business, you guys. We can start hauling our stuff around again. Well, Steve, what do you think? I like it. I, do I like it a lot. I I it's... love how clean white looks, but our last two trailers were white, and I, we had to change it. Yeah. It'll be a good change. Yep. You can't get much different than black and white, so <laughs> True. there you go. True. Um, <laughs> I was a little concerned and skeptical at first but there you go you guys yeah. i like it a lot looks good let's hook up to this thing and haul it home <laughs> 